it's Amélie. Today we're going to talk about the pinky of the right hand. We have received a question. Uh, someone was asking about going from the low C to the low E. And um, he said they had difficulties with that. So we're going to check. It can be different things that make it difficult. Uh, it can be that maybe one one hole here has to be plugged if you're playing on an open hold because maybe when you do that movement maybe your finger doesn't cover properly maybe it's moving a little bit to one side or the other you could check that maybe also you have a difficulty with just sliding your finger because you have to slide from the C to the E flat so what you can do to oil your pinky is to either rub it behind your ear or here on the side of your nose uh, so it becomes a bit more slidey. <laughs> uh, it slides better. So. That's that's C and E flat. There you don't you don't have a choice to just move your pinky like that to slide it. Um, if you do e, C and E, you can try to fake it. But for me, I, when I try to fake it, and I just pull my fingers up they're not totally synchronized so you can hear the low D so I prefer to just slide my so it's just your hand has to stay stable and um, and then you know you do that sliding of the pinky um, maybe you should check your hand position as well personally now I use a thumb port I've played for I don't know, 24 years and a half or something, 25 years without a thumb port. And uh, I bought one just uh, for my students, just to see if some of them would like it so they could try it. And uh, I tried it, I played, and after a couple of days I was like, wow! And now I always play with that, I love it. It makes my hand more stable, I guess. So maybe that's something that could help. Um, because the person who wrote to us was, is a pianist and says, oh, I control my fingers very well. Maybe you lack stability in your hand. Maybe you can try a thumb port. So yeah, I would say hand stability, then sliding. So you need to oil your pinky and uh, your hand stability will help also with uh, covering the holes. And if you really are not able to cover the holes properly, don't be shy to just put a plug there. It doesn't change the sound. There's no um, shame in that. It's the result that counts. Also, you should be careful not to pull your arm up like this. Some flutists play like this with their arms like that. It's, it's better to keep them lower, more natural with a neutral angle for your wrist. This way your fingers will move more easily and you'll have more stability and you'll be able to move better. Really, it's an opening of the hand that goes like this a little bit. Um, and the arm can assist. You can see the muscles in my arms that move. And um, and then you have to just practice it, but don't over practice it. Don't practice that an hour a day and get a tendonitis, you know, just uh, a couple of minutes every day. You can do uh, C, E, C, D, E to begin with, just to get used to go from one key to the other, like this. Then you can do C, E, F, C, uh, C, E, F, E, and you repeat. Then you can do C and E flat, maybe. You can... And also I think of when I go back to C, I, I give a little bit more speed on that slide there. You see here, one of my finger was not covering well. That's why the sound was not coming out. And you can practice it slowly so you really feel it properly. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any comment or question, just leave them in the box below. If you like the video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you next time.